That's all right. That Is happens. Usher going up against uh, Chris Rock? I mean, Chris Brown? I, Chris Brown said that's the only person that he would do it with. Oh, okay. Pause. Which makes sense. Yeah. Usher? Do it versus with. Yeah. It's, it's not prime no more. So that'd be can, a good. That'd be a good, be a good right show. Yeah. It, it would. Be a I would watch it. Verse. I was surprised that people still watch verses because it was really all we needed to get through quarantine. They made it into a thing. Speaking now. of R and B music, and not being able to have anybody compete with you Uh-oh. in that realm. Okay. I happen to be listening to R Kelly this week. Oh. Mm. Yeah, that's okay. All right, I yeah, you know I come that's on this show. Thirty of them. Things. I admit a lot of things. Which people judge. I was the listening music to music. Still Kelly. good. I mean, the mute talk. Why do people treat you like you did it when you, <laughs> <laughs> somebody see you and, and judge you? It was like, I mean, I mean. I was like, because I haven't listened to R. Kelly in a long time. My music was up. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. What do you want to do with me? He was in the He was like, you're ready. I had people. No, I had people looking at me, rolling their window up and shaking their head. I'm like. That's some good music. And hey, you didn't care one thing. Well, you know what I did? I looked at him like this. Turned it up. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't rolling on him. <laughs> well, yo, how can you not, how can you feel, hear this music and not feel, anyway. I, hey, you yeah. know who had the, the best then, body roll of all time? The, the sad thing is. That nigga Big Black, yo. Who the hell oh, is Robin that? Robin Big. Remember that joke? <laughs> I have no idea. This nigga took about. a pole and was rolling, <laughs> rolling his stomach like some dope. <laughs> I don't get it. Literally, I a don't body. Know. <laughs> the yeah. sad thing about R. Kelly, though, is he wrote so much music. Music that people don't even know that he wrote. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. literally, at any joints. time, you could be jamming out to an R. Kelly hit. Yep. Mm-hmm. So, you don't even know he wrote it. So, y'all so y'all know, y'all heard he got that th- that 30 years. How y'all feel about that? I mean, I think he deserved 30 he years. He got off. Right. Like, I mean, all this. I just don't understand how uh, M- Maxwell, how she got less time than him. Who the hell's Maxwell? Giselle. Jelaine. Jelaine. Damn, I said Giselle too. I was like Giselle. I was Gilane. Gilane. I was going to say Gilsane. Gilsane. Gilsane Maxwell. Gilane. Gilane. Oh, oh, I thought Kelly Michael. got off light, though. You know, all things considered, mm-hmm. I yeah. figured he was going to, like, Spend the rest of his life. Well, in that jail. is a life I mean, sentence. That is. Twenty five years is a life sentence. He's about to be out in like 15, 16 years. Man, right? he's not gonna do. He ain't gonna yeah. do all that. That's what I'm saying. I figured they was gonna stack some time on him. I do think that. Man, she that means she's gonna be out for in five years. Oh yeah, they ten. said she's definitely about to be out in the prison of her choice. You know. I mean, I'm like, dog, no, she was, but they charged him for trafficking, and I'm like. She was the ultimate trafficker. Do you think the parents uh, should be held? Because I, I, I keep about seeing say, a lot of the comments about, okay, your parents are next, you know. Nah, um, I, for I, I, R. Kelly, for yeah, sending them oh. kids in there. Yeah, they should be. Man, something need to be Asriel done. Asriel Clary's mama. It, they said Asriel Clary was Jane Doe, and in the court, I read this document. They were talking about how the girl was texting her mom every move, and the mom was literally coaching her on what to do like oh you better text him now so you're on his mind or oh you better rub his feet or do whatever you yes because if you don't he's gonna get somebody else to do it after his show so you basically just put yeah it was it was real deep literally the mama was texting her everything to do I'm to trying. him that's to, to me that's where most of this blame in my in my eyes oh my needs Lord. to come from and it was admittedly he he didn't know well with her in particular i'm not saying anybody else yeah. but he didn't know that she was underage because she lied i was just getting ready to ask how old she was, was she she lied and said uh, she was 18 and i think maybe she was 16. Or well, she didn't lie to her parents they knew oh yeah the her parents. Mother. yeah that's, that's the thing. thing when he got in trouble for wasn't her? It wasn't been what he like? He was doing this shit a long time. Yeah, that's so what it is. It's he's, the time. He's definitely the guilty, but yeah, when but he got charged for, he probably ain't really right. You know but what that's saying? usually how it go. Yeah, with them type of situations, yeah. it's usually they usually catch you not on your biggest crime. Yeah. It'd be like the oh, easiest one. The yeah, easiest it's one. It's to like, well, you we can on. put this on you. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? They go that way with mm-hmm. drug deals and all that type of stuff too. That's why they invented Rico, so they didn't have to exactly. tie you directly. Yeah. To and that's something. what they, they got him with Rico charges. 
Oh, well, you have it. Yep. Yep. Sure uh, racketeering and sex trafficking charge or some mm-hmm. specific sex. But he the only one that went down. So how the fuck is it Rico? Yeah, what about everybody else? Where are other people corroborate? That's, that's how they. He was funding. That's how they get so the they big probably, person. Yeah, 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 he was funding. Everybody, I don't know where Rico is. Everybody still got to go down. Like, what's happening? People still got to get in trouble. It's like what's like the racketeering? Organized. Like, it's the organized, organized crime. crime. So basically, oh. saying you benefited off of the crimes of someone. Else. I'm, listen, I'm not a criminal. I don't need to know what. <laughs> <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a minute. So organized crime is called Rico. It's racketeering. It's racketeering. There's racketeering. a lot of different things Rico that can be considered racketeering. racketeering. I thought it's Rico was drug so, charges. I don't know. That, because the drug charges typically you can consider that so organized crime. I put it to you like this. Let's say Cheeks is the uh, <laughs> kingpin, and then we all his little minions doing everything. He probably ain't never sold a slang a piece of drug. But we did it all for him, so they'll rack that get all of us together Mm -hmm. so we could turn on him. But he benefits from it. Right. Like all the work that we do, the whatever we sell, the people we kill, um, maybe uh, robberies we did. Mm -hmm. So what was the Rico charge for R. Kelly? Sex trafficking. Sex trafficking. It all any organized crime. Mm -hmm. So Rico stands for racketeer. Influenced and corrupt organizations. Mm-hmm. Mm. So that's a corrupt organization. Basically. That's what it's, it's, it's usually you know. just it was set up to take out like the mob, right? Stuff right. Like right. That. They ended up you, taking us out because you could never get like a big <laughs> boss. Like you could never really yeah. get a big yeah. boss in a room yeah. with drugs. You know what I'm saying? It's but almost can, messed up for, for when you mafia. think about it. Because let's say we are a crew, right? Mm-hmm. And let's just say. He organized this whole thing. I will never go. But there. we all functioned individually, mm-hmm. and we wasn't kicking nothing back to him. They'll get us all on something petty if they want him and they think he the boss. Mm-hmm. They'll come and catch me doing something and be like, "Look, snitch, snitch on him," and you and know, say free. this, that, and the third. Get everybody else that's in the mix because we about to get them too. So we're gonna let y'all work it out. Yeah. But basically, all y'all need to point the finger to him. Cause in order to get off, because we just want him mm-hmm. for some reason. For whatever the case right. may be, because he may have got away with something a long time ago yeah. for something else that typically, propelled him in, typically, in the crime world. Yeah. Typically, <clears throat> in a situation like that, they're coming after me. Whoever I was paying off, I pissed off. Or it's a bunch of or things. You're, you're or you're a rap superstar, and you're gonna make a good name for me right. for you know Take as a down. DA for yeah. taking you down. I took down so and so. I took yeah. down Young Thug yeah. and his buddy. Uh, yeah, what's Gunner. his name? Gunner. Yeah. 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 So. Wow. Well. But them parents is they they some they should be charged with Rico too. They should be charged. They, they should be. It. Yeah. No, they should be. They should at the very least be charged with. Something. It's just so hard to do it, but I do agree with that. Charging with sex trafficking. Like that's the, basically what they did. That's exactly what yeah, they did. Yeah, I was watching videos of... Precisely. So, so Joycelyn, Precisely. his latest two girlfriends, Ezreal was one mm-hmm. that broke free. Damn, you know their names. And, oh, yeah, I've been following this. And Joycelyn is the you other one. she here for Literally, me. they got into... Right when he went to jail, remember the girls were living in... They did this big interview with Gail King. Mm-hmm. They were living in Trump Towers. They tried to kill um, me. They were, he went to jail. Fight they had to move fight. out of... Trump Towers and he was in jail literally the two girlfriends got into a fight with each other um, that was recorded a fist fight, a fist fight one that of one of the turn. girl Azriel was turning turn, yeah. the girl Joycelyn hasn't budged apparently now she wrote a letter to the judge before the sentencing asking for leniency she was dead. and she introduced herself as his fiance now so mm. go marry you when I'm 80 Cause that's how old they gonna we gonna be when he get out. But this girl that's is sad. really she's the if it's brainwash if it's brainwashing she's got it the worst. Mm-hmm. Like she is they have video footage of her walking right past her mother, and um, after the courts you know walking out of the court. Not or saying what's her story. Not saying, how did she get involved in this whole situation? I don't know how. Like, did uh, her parents put her up too, or what? Sound like she got stalked. She did want to sit. Uh, she did want to. Both girls wanted to be singers. singers. Right. Yeah. I wonder if they're talented at all. Man. Ezreal just dropped a um, a mixtape or a single or something. Really? About, yeah. I wonder where that's I called. I follow her. If it don't hit now, if she don't get no traction now, 
She ain't never gonna be big. She ain't gonna never be big. She I'm just saying, this is her window. She need to have a big. She really needs to sit down and get some help. Yeah, yeah, she does. She need to go ahead and write a book, make money, like maybe write a book. She need to do. But then chill. Then maybe after a few years, come out with some. Right. And then be like a motivational speaker. Of, uh, motivational. She should Somebody, be. She needs you as a coach. She should give it herself yeah, as a motivational speaker PR. to go around touring. She looks like a blow up doll. That people were, were oh, saying that. Big? No, she's. Oh. She looks like a Barbie, she, oh. but people were saying her boobs. I you know, know, she got R. Kelly to pay for the boobs, mm-hmm. and then she rolled out. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> but I don't know. I I think that she was definitely. I think the parents had something to do with it. Man, all, with them her. Parents, all them parents, bro. Whether but it's negligence we or lit- the coaches. We or- literally watched one girl. What's the the one girl get rescued on tape? Oh really? The did you see the surviving R. Kelly? Yeah, but I don't remember. It was the girl, the girl who she cut her hair. She yeah, it was a while ago. She got rescued. Yeah, her parents like literally came to save her. She save her from what? Was he like that? Was he that bad of a predator? No, he was holding people hostage. He wouldn't let them go home. Yeah, (laughs) one girl left and then was and and came came back. back. Yes. Man, who 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 was like a hostage? I think that that's was that. one girl. There's another there's another story where there's one girl who was like trying to find a way to get home, like making excuses, lying about stuff. So that Dominique she can get Gardner out of, so was she can get out, and like because R. Kelly wouldn't let her leave. <clears throat> then she was like, "All right, well, these are some of the things I'm gonna have to do. To leave, I'm gonna have to do them." And they were some of like a lot of the, the sex trafficking. That's stuff. the pissing thing. The, I don't know if that was any of it. Uh, I mean, I don't know, dog. She, she had to pee in a bucket or something like that? I don't know, dog. No, one girl had to pee in a bucket. It said Gardner no longer had her own phone, and Kramer had to text the singer himself if she wanted to speak with her daughter. Um, she was able to track down her daughter to a Los Angeles Marriott and take the girl back to <sighs> Chicago in a dramatic on-camera rescue. But how did the, how did their daughter end up with him in she the She returned place? to R. Kelly three days later, but soon <laughs> left the singer again. <laughs> But how did the daughter end up with R. Kelly initially? That, so that's the girl that got rescued. She graduated. The one that returned to it. She began that's what I thought. spending time with so him. So was she yeah. really a hostage? Who lives there? Nigga, if you are, yeah. if somebody wants to leave and you don't make them. If she really wanted to leave, why did she go back? They that's met through a MySpace out. friend, this particular girl. Um, that's what I'm trying to figure out. I got and you. She's like, I man, let me go. She, I am gone. Yeah, he got all in her mind. Yeah, she's just damaged at this point. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, that's what I'm saying, though. Was she really trying to? If her if her mind it was that gone, it may have sounded good, but then there could have been other things that made her feel like, I'm like, if he does the things I thought he did, which is belittling them, you're nothing without me. You'll never be anything without me. I'm the only person. If these that are things you, that they all, that they already think and feel. But if you're insinuating that this person is a hostage. That means this oh, person wants to go. Side of the game. I don't know about that. You know what I'm saying? I understand what you're saying, but what I'm telling you is there are moments. I think it's mental. Yeah. I mean, I understand that. So you don't think like hoes are like hoes that be up under pimps? You don't think they hostage hostages? I think they damage emotionally, so well, they're not hostages, though. Yeah, I mean, okay, it's the same thing to yeah. me. Yeah, taking advantage of somebody who's damaged I'm saying, emotionally. What he's doing with them girls and pimps and hoes, oh, for sure, it's the same I, thing. Yeah, it's the same thing. So it's, I, don't, I, I feel what you're saying. Which is sex trafficking, hostage. Yeah, it's like not was, like they're against their will, but he didn't get, he didn't is. twisted their mind. Yeah, of course, they're yeah. they not doing what's best for them. No, of course they're not so, doing what's best for them. Yeah. Mm. Speaking of bad parenting, oh man. Oh, man. Y'all yeah, see the video of, uh, I, I thought it was an old video, first of all. Mm-mm. Because everybody in the video looked like, it don't it look like something from the mid 2000s? My man had no, a. I think they just in the Midwest somewhere. What are uh, you talking wait, about? Wait, uh, yeah, I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I sorry, sorry. Know, I don't know. So the video with a young man, with a young man is bringing his child food. Oh, break the story down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So a young man is bringing his child food, and you know he pulls up, you know, beside uh, uh, his baby's mother's building, and unbeknownst to him, he's on camera, and she's like, "Yeah, I'm about to catch him." So, so I'm expose. I'm about to expose him, right? So, so she, so some for some godforsaken reason, she feels like 
she has a case. Like, what she's saying is right. But anyway, long story short, um, the dude says, yo, you know, this is for my son. And she said, it don't look like enough food for all my kids. And she, you know, goes on and goes on with him. At the end of the back and forth, she does the unthinkable. What she doing? <laughs> what was the end? Because I ain't watched it. Through. She throws the. F- she said, "Okay, get it to me. Give me the food. I yeah. take it." Hold on, because he fought. He was. He was trying to work with her. Yeah, he was. You he could was like, tell. He gonna come to my car and eat in my you car. You could tell he was yeah. like, "Oh my oh. god, I can't believe I had a baby with this person." Yeah, yeah. but he, he was like, "Yo, I be telling people, man, you got to think." He man. was like, "Now you see." Yeah. He was like, well, he, look, so he was like, "Yeah, all right. Well, then tell him come out here. Then that way he right. got he, in in front of the kid. Right. The right. other right. kids won't know. Right. Right. right, There's a lot of solutions here. Yeah." Right. Um, and she was she, like, "All right, well, give me the, you know, give me the food." She finally was like, "All right." She took takes the food, throws it on the ground. Threw that joint. Threw that on the ground. Threw it on the ground. And, um, you know, start cursing them out. And man, he, y'all got to see the whole joint. You got to see the whole joint. The dude. Somebody said, the it might right be, here. somebody said it might be scripted, though. Regardless, we How? talking about it. Because they said there's a bunch of scripted videos on her page. Regardless, we talking like, about what? it, right? So I the, guess she does scripts, like acting. You know how people create okay. situations like this and um, record it? Okay. Yeah, it's possible. It, it's it's possible, possible well, but let sense. me tell you, it's not. it happens. <laughs> let me tell you, it's Who's happening. wrong here? Yeah, I get the scenario. Who's Let's ultimately about, wrong? Yep. The father. I mean, it. ultimately. I'm yeah. talking about who's wrong in that instance. The father yeah, yeah, I'm talking about in this situation. Baby her, man. That's ultimately. I'm talking here. about in that, in that exchange yeah, right there, who was wrong? No one's thinking like that. Uh, he were, he shouldn't he shouldn't have uh, had no seat I, I, with her. That's immediately where I went. I was like, why did he have a child with her? He okay. didn't know, he didn't see no signs. Maybe he did. Maybe he didn't. Man, that, that, how can you judge something that you don't know? She got three other kids that's older than his. That's a red flag to me. Hello. <laughs> that's why I said the <laughs> father's wrong. Oh, he how you know it's real? Hold on. If this how you know real? He getting kids. everything he deserved. Oh, that's what she said. On it. Huh? Uh, got the back did she on. say three? She said three. Oh, she yeah. said. She, no, she said my other kids. Well, it's three. It's three. She, she three. said it in another so she interview has afterwards. Four no, she children in total. Four total. And one of them I saw her say she had one of them is his. How many of those kids? Just one of those kids are his. Right. Yeah. Do we know how many uh, fathers are involved with the other kids? Three, three, oh, three other don't, fathers. It don't, it don't matter. matter. Oh, so there's four kids and the four fathers. The fact that she was like. I, the rest of, I, you know, I can't feed was, kids they until just, I get my, uh, They just finished dating. Let me just take food stamps. I don't get my food stamps till the 7th. 11th. She changed. She, she, changed. Sta- she, she changed. She started with 7th and then went to 11th. Yeah. That's why it might be scripted. I don't know. But no, nah, that's scenario. too specific for, for, in order to be. My whole thing is this. She might really be getting food stamps, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, it still yeah, could yeah, be a part of the script. But my whole thing is, he getting everything he deserves, man. So... Who cares about that? We talking about the kid. That's I why I don't that. care about him. Uh, <laughs> she is definitely. And I'm saying in this particular situation, I'm gonna give. I'm gonna throw one bone to her. She's right. About. I'm sure any woman in that situation would want a man to consider all of her children. I'm sure. I'm sure she would. I'm sure she but. would. However. To hold the only one, and my my guess is he's probably the only active one in any of their lives. Yes. Has other to. other, and now he is paying for everything that the other and three did. And yeah. and I just think she's, but it's I, but in the same vo- voice, it's obvious why all the other three niggas ran. <laughs> <laughs> okay, which is why he should have ran. It's obvious why them niggas ain't around no more. <laughs> which is why he shouldn't have been around at all. But he's he trying. He should have got there and been like one, two, three. Where, where? He might be. They a not simp. here. Hey, hey, I'll be back. He might be a simp. Nah, cause them be the ones who end up <laughs> with joints like that. <laughs> because who else gonna put up with them? Just saying. Anyway, he probably might be. He he, he might be. But I don't, I don't least, think he owe her anything. He doesn't owe her anything. Baby. But if he wanted to do that, cool. If he wanted to bring, if food she had a conversation with him, yo, yo, I appreciate what you're doing. You know, we'll do the what. Yo, if you can, or have you ever considered? And even then, he still don't have to do nothing but bring his child food. He don't. No, that's but his, that's his the funniest part about it all to me is the videos that people are making now. Yeah, that's the funny part. <laughs> with. It was a bunch of memes. It's oh, a bunch, bunch of no, it's a bunch of skits. I ain't seen them It's a bunch of skits where people, <laughs> where they're doing, um, you know, this is me 
while my baby mama eating with my son mm-hmm. while my baby mama is in the house with her mm-hmm. other kids starving. I've seen several times. <laughs> <laughs> seen several they having a field day. Right, right, right. <laughs> no, those guys be hilarious. Y'all got to check those out. Whoa.